Welcome back to our next video. We wish you all a blessed day. May God bestow blessings upon all who are watching this video. Today's discussion reveals profound messages from celestial realms, transmitted by the Venerable Archangel Michael to Father Chris Aller. Let us embark on this spiritual journey with gratitude for the sacred calling to listen to these messages and with humble hearts ready to respond deeply. Praise be to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest updates. Join us on this journey and listen to the video until the last moment. Type Amen if you believe, may God always bless you. The message on November 30, 2023, echoes with celestial resonance, I hear the voice of God. I will not go and say, do this or that for me. We shall kindle the holy fire in hearts attuned to my words and follow me. The call of Saint Michael ignites the sacred fire in those who heed his words, creating a melody for a transformative journey. On December 2, 2023, during the Holy Communion in the Mass, Father Chris Aller experienced a profound encounter. The Holy Bread trembled four times, like a heartbeat, as he heard the voice of God saying, Holy and eternal is my love for you. This intimate connection in the holiest sacrament reaffirmed the eternal love granted to the faithful. Moving forward to December 11, 2023, Father Chris was honored with the apparition of the Divine Mercy King in the House of Jerusalem in Cage. Cloaked in a majestic purple robe reminiscent of Praha, adorned with a large royal crown of gold, the King of Divine Mercy conveyed messages of love and understanding. The purple-blue-white robe embroidered with golden lilies symbolized the divine splendor. The invitation to repentance and a pure heart was met with a promise to reign entirely in the hearts of those pursuing this transformative journey. The divine story continued on December 19, 2023, as Archangel Michael descended from a large golden sphere at the House of Jerusalem in Cage. Wearing a radiant white and gold attire, with a crown of golden swords, Saint Michael bestowed blessings on the gathering. He called for the acceptance of the golden scepter of grace and mercy, symbolizing the path of holiness. The call to embrace the sacrament of repentance and reconciliation echoed like the path of this golden scepter, warning of consequences for those lacking repentance and remorse. The celestial scene expanded with the appearance of Saint Joan of Arc emerging from a smaller golden sphere, carrying the gate and Bible in her hands. Quoting Ephesians 2 verses 1 to 10, the mother urged believers to love God wholeheartedly. Saint Joan inspired courage during adversity, urging believers to open their hearts to receive heaven, rejoicing in the fact that Archangel Michael intercedes for them. The sacred speech peaked with Saint Michael's declaration, Cusut Deus? Who is like God? God has called you as his own. Be vigilant. It is not the victory of sin, but my victory. Amen. A proclamation of victory over sin and a holy call to persevere in faith. In a deep exchange with Manuela, Saint Michael revealed his intervention in nature to awaken humanity to the command of repentance. Acknowledging the necessity of rain for repentance, Street, Michael emphasized the sacred purpose in natural events. As the heavenly encounter concluded, Saint Michael bid farewell, leaving a charge of loyalty to God. Manuela's unwavering affirmation reinforced a commitment to fidelity. Saint Michael's Latin prayer, along with thoughts about the Lily of France, hinted at upcoming interventions and teachings of God in France. In the moment of sacred revelation, the echoing message traversed space, a gentle whisper urging to contemplate the Lily of France. The angelic presence of Archangel Michael and Street, Joan of Arc dissolved into radiant light, leaving a sacred burden. 
This spiritual guidance leads us to profound wisdom encapsulated in Ephesians 2 verses 1 to 10, a passage resonating with the essence of redemption and grace. The sacred text reminds us of past transgressions and sins, a life entangled with worldly pursuits and obedience to dark forces. However, through God's mercy and boundless love, we are granted the gift of salvation. As we were once dead in sin, the rich mercy of God resurrected us with Christ, placing us in heavenly realms. This holy act serves as evidence of the immeasurable richness of God's grace, demonstrating mercy throughout the ages. The passage emphasizes the transformative power of grace, highlighting that redemption is a gift bestowed upon us through faith, not a result of our deeds. With humility, we acknowledge that we are God's creation, created in Jesus Christ to do good works predetermined by God. This divine plan is manifested through the tapestry of our lives, guiding us towards righteousness and purpose. To respond to this sacred revelation, let us gather to pray and worship to promote unity within the church, community, and family. The plea to soothe the anger of the Heavenly Father resounds, seeking mercy for sinners and victory over God's enemies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we collectively raise our voices in prayer, let us implore God not to reject our petitions. In times of distress, we turn to the Holy Name with love and faith, acknowledging the admirable nature of God. Pray that the name of God be praised, glorified, loved, adored, and honored, under the watchful gaze of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. When presenting before the lovely face of Jesus, let us seek grace to always follow His commandments and the sacred movements of His Spirit. Let our prayers be a guiding light, drawing us closer to God's protection and gaze. We offer the holy countenance of Jesus to soothe the wrath of God and bring repentance to evildoers. Through the cross and the instruments of His suffering, we beseech the division among God's enemies, for a kingdom divided against itself will fall. In the name of God, scatter their plans and extinguish all godlessness. To atone for the sins committed against God, we display the bloodied and sweaty face of Jesus, pleading for mercy for the sins of communists, oppressors, and those who blaspheme the holy name and Sunday. Our prayers aim at the redemption of our nation, pleading for souls to be washed in the blood of Jesus. As we present the holy face of Christ to atone and meet the needs of the Holy Church, we look at the Sacred Heart as a vessel of justice transformed into the wine of mercy. In this sacred adoration, we welcome and adore the lovely face of Jesus, entrusting our souls to bear the imprint of the Sacred Seal. Let this seal be imprinted on us, so that the image of God may be reproduced in our souls. Most Powerful Virgin Mary, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May this sacred journey of prayer and penance bring us closer to God, nurturing unity and grace in our lives and communities. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications for the latest videos. In conclusion, I wish you a day filled with positive energy. May God bless you. Amen.